Alrighty, we are here in season 13. It's kind of against the truck, so that's that new scout truck. So a great deal. Kind of just stumbled across this new vehicle. Uh, I did get across that gap. I kind of just drove backwards to the very beginning of the rock formation and the trees and kind of drove around them and made my way kind of around that bridge and down and to the roadway and kept on going down the road and he's tucked away in here uh, so that was that great deal task it's but it's saying we have to so we have to like just drive to different places so you got to reach the service center reach the airport warehouse wherever that is then deliver spare parts to where I am speaking of which where, so the spare parts you can get over there somewhere and then you gotta repair this guy so since I'm here I'm gonna repair him right now and then that will take care of that uh set of the task once I come to it and find and drive to all those other locations so maybe this very end of the video just ended like three minutes later and we're gonna avoid whatever this great deal task is while we're doing 13 because I just showed you what we need to do and most of it is just driving to places and delivering one cargo and then fixing this so I'm gonna fix it right now 280 points required I should have plenty oh no I don't <clears throat> uh, so I guess I should have used the goodies max so there we go so now 160 more points so he is all well I bet she's gonna need fuel too yeah he's gonna need fuel too so find him fill him up with fuel then he's gonna be all set whenever I get to that so and there's a first watchtower uh, I don't know if that there's a road at least this point going directly to it and since I have this truck I'm just gonna bulldoze through it I think I'm just gonna go kinda straight through here kinda action uh, cause it looks like I can probably make my way down here and up over there normal truck or not Yeah, you could do you could do this in a vanilla truck, no problem. Maybe. Oh, I spoke too soon. this lip or I should I say way around this rock formation this is gonna be one of those things where I drive around the whole thing until the, like over here where I find the real road that gets up there <laughs> now that we found the actual road maybe this better be winding its way over there see it turning there but yeah it definitely doesn't look like it's turning around uh, we're not gonna trust it oh we don't play that and yeah, there's some shit down there but I don't want to say goodbye and then extend the video by 10 hours so I'll either, I'll either have to race myself saying goodbye six times or oh Jesus Let me get to the watchtower. 
All right, what do we got going on right now? So this is map action that I have unlocked. Ding. Ooh, upgrade. Ooh, piece of candy. Okay, now let's, if you, anyone watched my other videos and the, what did I tell you, like cool features on this map or something like that, we'll see what this watch hour looks like in comparison. It's not going to look like we're standing in it. Yes, it's just going to pan around and I know I like those watchtowers out of the other Logan's map I played. Those were kind of cool. So that's that. And, uh, what did I do? Ooh, holy shit. Well, actually, it was kind of just this whole thing, but that's your quarry. Looks like we got a upgrade in the quarry, trailer in the quarry, broken spiral, cement factory warehouse. I got a helicopter pad and loading area right here. Humanitarian aid supplies. That's going to be a task I got to get. So, yeah. That opened up a great deal. And. Alright, I'm going to try and go get that first upgrade before we get on to something else. So, before it's down on that quarry like I showed you in the last one. I'm going to try and go through this processing workshop. There's no road here, but it looks like there's a clearing. I'm going to see if I can walk my way down the cliffside. Hopefully that's not too tall. Because otherwise, I don't know where the entrance is that. So wish me luck. I'll meet you. Uh, there's that whatever new one again. I'll meet you down there. Or once we get to the quarry road and start driving down. Yeah, we'll start rolling now. It's looking like this might be... Yeah, this should work. So that's how we're going to get down into the quarry. And get down to that upgrade. I can't read that. Welcome to the quarry. I think, yeah, I think I might have. Now I have to go back the other way, I think, because it's probably going to be a big, huge uh, stone job there. But. Yeah, I guess. It's a long ways around, but yeah, we're not getting past that anyway. So let's get that tax activated and go all the way around the long way. It looks like we're going to have to go. So I guess, forget the whole, I'll just make this a whole video of how to get the upgrade of whatever it is. Once we get down there, I'm sure it's probably something for that. AAC, whatever the, whatever the F, scout truck. Wow. That took like 30 seconds to switch. Eh, it's not a very good view out here anyway. Of course, if this is something similar, this is going to be my thumbnail for the last video. When am I going to make a thumbnail for this video? Oh, yeah, that's right. Doesn't I think there's supposed to be, like, breakable rocks and stuff. I don't know where, but I guess we'll find out. I should slow it down so I'm not ripping down here. It's 
going to be a long way down. Look at all the random, like, junk and stuff. And actually, that looks like there's a hole getting bored. Oh, no, it's a train track. I was about to say, it looks like there's a hole getting bored through the wall there. And there is, because there's a train track. Kind of neat. Can I just kamikaze, kamikaze off the edge? I might once we get to one point. That's probably where the huge rock blockage is up there. I actually am going to take a look at it because it almost looked like we might have to figure out how to get to that thing anyway. Because it didn't look like there was part of the... Yeah, it's like up here on the ledge that there's no road going to. So either we need to get up to down to the bottom and climb up there somehow. Or maybe drop down from here. Right above it. We'll see how high that is. Because it is like right here. I think that's going to be pretty high to be dropping down in onto it though. Yeah, it's a pretty big drop. Pretty big drop, so hopefully we can uh climb up onto that ledge once we get down there. Cause it looks like it might be a kind of a chore to get up there. This is kind of sweet too. Just a little valley of water there. Clearly there's a trailer down here too. That should be fun. Actually these roads weren't too steep though. Coming down here so it might not be too huge of a problem bringing that back up top like we're inevitably going to have to do. There's a water trailer behind me. Now, can we, like I said, can we get up there? I wonder if you should have actually just kamikaze and just fell off the cliff. Oh god, I was about to say, I'm going to flip the truck trying to get it up there. I don't know how you, I mean, this might be pretty tricky in a vanilla truck. I don't even know if I'm going to get up there. Then when we get up there is when we're going to see the the road leading to it. I'll go out that way, see if it's much easier to uh, get down. But what do we got for this here upgrade? Alright. So an engine... Next gen car granted those blah blah blah, blah Eastern Europe develop yada yada yada. Four oh no this this new engine for the plaid. Sweet. 
now we just gotta get the plaid. So let's try and... Whoa, is there an easier way to get up here? For them, no for them normal trucks? Yeah, okay, it looks like you might be able to... Whoa, Jesus. I'm looking too far ahead of me. Can you drive up this uh, rock ledge over here? Okay, so that's the way you actually want to go. Why is my robot speaker blinking? I'm not talking to you. So go that way. That's going to be a lot easier. So that's going to be our uh, upgrade location for our Plaid 450. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm just trying to get over to this water trailer over here, whatever this is, which now I probably can't get to anyway. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. And there's a scout fuel trailer, it looks like. Should I install it? Probably not. But alright, so that was the upgrade for the Plaid 450. Season 13 coming at you. At the tail end of my upgrade video, we'll put this in here because I just came across the other new truck, the Plaid. So this is going to be the... This is going to be the task for the Plaid, not a roller coaster. A little bit involved again, same thing, like the one we're doing now. So you're going to need to deliver the oversized cargo one to the old quarry. That's whatever's on his trailer, I think. And then deliver the truck to the logistics center right there. Quarry. It looks, maybe it's all in this quarry, but. And then to slap a trailer to the same place, and then we have to repair it. So actually, I'm going to do like I did with the the other one to make life easier when we actually when I do come to this task and once again just like I said in the first video we'll probably I will probably release both of them the my first video driving around and the upgrade video that we're doing currently tomorrow same day but I'm not going to do the job other than I'm by myself on the side to get that scout I just told you how to do it same thing with this plaid we won't show that in video form I'm just going to do it so I'm gonna go ahead and fix him now, so it's a hell of a lot easier for me when I come to that stage. So we're gonna want to fix this plaid. You need 450 repair points. I have that in spades. So get that guy all fixed up. I'm assuming he's probably gonna need fuel as well. Yes, he's gonna need fuel as well. So let's fill him up. And then he's all taken care of when I come over here to uh, do all that nonsense and whatnot. I probably can probably can even pull the trailer over right now. Uh oh. So let's say is this one of those? I have seven thousand hitch points. Can I just simply pull it down? Yeah. We're not going to hook it to the bore though, because he uh, can't drive him yet. So, now, that was the upgrade video and where the plaid is and how to do it. So, we, things for the scout truck that I have to do is get to the airport warehouse. So, this road that I'm going on is kind of heading off in that general direction anyway. So, we're, I'm probably hitting up the airport warehouse. And then I just got to bring the vehicle spare parts to wherever. And since I already fixed that one, then that will be bam. Bam, 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 bam. See? You are going to need a crane with the truck to do that, the great deal test that I'm kind of halfway working on right now to go get the new Scout. Because the server, uh, part, now I just have to bring the service spare parts to the scrap metal warehouse. Uh, the service spare parts are laying on the ground, so you're going to have to pick those up. I'm still kind of just driving around trying to upgrade this, so now I'm going to head to this 
one instead of that one. But we're just adding these little tidbits into the, the video somewhere. All right, I lied just a second ago. Now that I finally drove down here with the truck and a crane and stuff like that, uh, apparently whatever those ones that I'll sit next to aren't the service perth. I could just pick them up right here. So I didn't need a crane and all that stuff like I just told you, and I'll tell you this right now. This video is going to be fun. <laughs> And since I got up to this other watchtower now, I found another upgrade, so we might as well do both upgrades in this video right now. And I'm just going to try and come down this hill. Looks like this one's going to be much easier to get to. And it's going to be tucked away over there. So we shall do our best to get on down there. And then these are the upgrades, and for at least two of them so far. I don't know how many there is, but these are their upgrades in Season 13. So far we got the Plaid engine. Let's uh, see what else we have to get here. Let's crawl our way down the uh, mountain here first. And get on over there. It didn't look like it was too far away, so we'll just keep rolling and race on down there and see what we got and then I'm gonna have to get to the garage and get a truck and get on over to that helicopter landing pad or wherever I was and pick up their spare parts and pick up my new scout and then I guess my next job I'll do is the plaid and get both those cars first before I uh, start any of this season it should be I was about to say I thought it was like right across the right across the row ad is it going to be easy to get to? Looks like that water's not too deep. Not too high of a cliff to uh, climb over. I think we can manage. Yeah, this one's got a road driving straight to it. What do we got here? Alright. At any rate, what do we get? Okay, we got another engine. Light and power for this front wheel drive engine. Pairs small truck. So yeah, this is going to be the engine for the new guy. Alright, so sweet. Now before I even pick up my new trucks, I get engines. Kick ass. Upgrade Season 13 engines, Plaid 450, and the AA, whatever the hell it's called. The new Scout. Here you go. Bye-bye. While we're on the upgrade video and the topic, I see another one over here nestled in the trees right next to the service pair parts, kind of bottom corner of the map. This is a garage, so straight out that way.